hello and welcome to my channel my name is Rebecca if this is your first time here welcome once more to my kitchen um, today we're going to be preparing palm oil airplane soup and this is the airplane those of you who are wondering what airplane is this is airplane you can find it at any store uh, this is what we're going to be preparing today. So I chop it up, but first you have to remove this back and trash it. Then the inner part of it is the one you're going to cook. So you're going to cut all of this out. So this is air plant. Let us start. So today I'm going to be cooking uh, chicken and fresh turkey. But first I will have to boil, season the chicken chicken and the turkey and boil it let's say steam it before we cook it with the food so this is the season i'll be using today it's called all purpose season salt you can find our in store so we're just going to add some to the chicken just to season it up you can put any amount you want to cook and you can use any season to season your meat it don't have to be this one so you're just going to turn it around. After turning it around, I have my chopped onion and pepper. Sometimes some people blend the pepper and the onion, but it's also okay. But I don't eat a lot, a lot of pepper. So I usually put a pot of pepper in my food and I like to put my onion in the food just like this. So we're going to put some of the onion in, in the seasoned meat and allow it to sit for one or two minutes so the food, the season can like, so the meat can be seasoned well. So after the, the, the season is absorbed, I mean the meat, is, the season is absorbed in the meat, whatever way it goes. Um, I have water here. I'm just going to add a little water to it. After the meat has absorbed the season, okay. So I add a little water to it and I'm going to put it on the fire for it to boil and steam. Yeah. Okay guys, while the meat is boiling, it's steaming, I have my water here. It's just water. I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt to my water and I'm going to use this water to wash the air plant. So I'm just going to pour it in here. And when you pour it, you make sure you put your hands in it like this and rub it together with your hands, not too hard, but just rub it. The reason why we're doing this is we want the seeds. We want to reduce some of the seeds. You see here, it got a lot of seeds, so we have to do like this, rub it together so that some of the seeds can reduce. So the seed is going to settle on, on the water. And we usually wash it too because uh, air plant is, is almost, it's like a, I don't know how to describe it. It's a dye. It has that kind of dark color, so you want to reduce it. That's why we're washing it up. When we wash it, you see the water will be like a little darker. Yeah. So you do like this, guys. And I allow it to sit for a few minutes. Then you can squeeze it out. So, guys, I usually use this to drink the air plant so some of the water can come out because some people don't squeeze it well. And as the result, you have a lot of water in your soup. So that's why I use this here. So I put it here. I'm just going to squeeze it with my hand like this and pull it in. Squeeze it with my hand and pull it in. I'm going to do that until I squeeze everything out. So guys, you see the color of the water? And I'm going to show you the seeds. So guys, you see the amount of seeds we got out of the air plant? That's why we wash it. 
so guys we're gonna leave it in here for a few minutes so the water can drain some of the water can drain out because we don't want to put it in a pot and the water it turned out that the water is plenty like a lot so that's why we drain it like this so guys we have we are done with the meat so we're just gonna take the uh, air plant and put it in the pot you see the water that came out so after that we're gonna add some of our seasoning this is the season we're going to use today chicken flavor and we're going to add some of our garlic to it and if you eat salt you can add a little salt to it but i'm not going to add salt because i use salt to wash my um my air plant but if you test the soup and you feel like you need salt please add salt to it so guys you can add any amount of seasoning you want to your food but and all depends on the size of the food so this is what I'm gonna put in mine one spoon and I'm gonna add some garlic garlic powder to my food so you just it's, it's full guys you can just play with it do whatever you want to do with it be creative about it I have my onion here I'm going to add my onion to my food. And I have my dry fish. I'm going to add my dry fish to my food. I have my fresh fish. It have to cook, so I'm going to add it to the food. Some people may say it's too early to add it, but I like to add it. If I feel like it will mash up, then I will take it out. But I add it early to the food. So before I add it, I have to like stir it around, turn it around. After turning it around, I'm just going to add the water from the meat. I'm going to add it to the food. And put the food on the fire so guys we're going to cover it up for it to like cook for a few seconds then we can add the fresh fish to it I got the fish here we're just gonna leave it leave the pot on the fire for like two minutes then we can add the fish so it can cook because the fish is raw it's a raw fish okay guys after five minutes five to seven minutes we open the pot we notice the food is boiling now so we're just gonna turn it around it look good turn it around now we can add our fish to it so we put the fish we settle it in like this sing it in settle it in like this Then we cover our pot. Then after one minute, we open our pot and add our meat. You guys see the water in it? So that's why you don't add a lot of water. So the water from washing the, the uh, air plant and the water from the meat, you see the length, you see where it is? It's below the air plant so you put your cooked meat in it and you're just going to turn it around be careful before you mash your fish now so you, you do it slowly not too rough okay take your time take your time and turn it around and cover your pot so we're covering the pot because we want the heat to cook the food so you cover the pot you're going to come and check on on it maybe after seven to ten minutes so guys we're back now to check our food and it looks so good
So what we're going to do, we're going to add the Maggie Cube. We call it Maggie, Maggie Cube. We're going to add three to the food. And we're going to add the red oil, palm oil, red palm oil to the food. So you can add any amount of uh, red oil. All depends on what you like. If you like a lot, you can add a lot. But we don't eat a lot of oil in this house. So I'm just going to add a little. That should be enough. And you're going to stir the food around. Be careful you don't want to break the fish. Take your time and just stir it around. You don't want to break your fish, okay? You can test it and find out whether you need to add salt. If not, it's okay. So you just test it. Yeah, I need a little salt. So yeah, so I, I'm I'm just gonna add a little salt. See the amount of salt I put in my food, just a little, okay? Because I don't want you don't want to cook a food that have a lot of salt. So it's better there's no salt on it. Anybody that wants salt, they will add their own salt than for you to cook a lot of salt, guys. So we're just gonna cover it up so the heat can cook the food, okay? So you allow it to cook for 10 minutes, okay? Okay guys, we're gonna check on the food now. Ooh, look at this. Look amazing. Ooh, feel like eating now. So just gonna turn it around. Not too hard again. Make sure, be mindful of the, of the fish you have in the food. You see? I already broke this one, so. I'm gonna take my own time and turn it around. So the food is almost cooked. You see the oil here? It's already cooked. So we're just gonna leave it on the fire, leave it open on the fire for five or ten, no, five to seven minutes on low heat. And uh, then we turn the stove off. Then it's ready to then we're ready to eat. Thank you for watching. If this is your first time here, please subscribe to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I'm a new YouTuber and I need your support. So please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you for stopping by. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. So guys, the Evelyn soup is cooked now. We're going to turn the stove up. You see the oil on the side and you see the oil here? Over the food, which means the food is cooked. And you will wait. Put the spoon, the cook spoon down, you will feel it, the friction down here, you will feel it, and you know that the food is cooked. So thank you for watching, and I appreciate you for stopping by. Please subscribe, please subscribe, I'm a new YouTuber, I need support. So guys, this is the red palm oil, red palm If this is your first time, please subscribe and welcome to my channel, okay? And more videos will be coming up.